Hi, sorry I've not been uploading videos lately. It's just because I've not really got anything to make in the videos because supplies low and with all this disease going about it makes it real hard. So I thought I'd um, do gold recovery on these. Yeah, so they're CPU slots. This, this is from a ceramic CPU. As you can see the gold looks real nice in them. Whereas these are from... Uh, old fibre ones and it's just the tips plated but anyway I'm going to take out all the ones which are here and weigh them out there's obviously these as well I'm going to take that out so it's just uh, CPU slots and then because obviously I think I saw you I think I'm sure you saw the video how to remove these real fast um, it broke the bottoms off them so all the fully plated ones like these the uh, the bottoms you can see was obviously scratched when they were removed, so hopefully the copper chloride would be able to get in there. So you don't need to use any fancy acids, just uh, simple hydrochloric acid mixed with burnt copper to make copper chloride. Anyway, I take them out and weigh them up, and I'll come back to you when they're done. Right, I'm just going to show you how I remove the uh, CPU slots, just so you can see. If you hold it like that, stick your little uh, thing under there. One off. And that's the second one. It's the fastest way I've found, and then you can just open the uh, slots, it's open, and just push it, and the little plastic part with the gold is there, and then you're left with the metal. And then the other one. So uh, we'll just weigh what we have. My scale has only got to 500 grams, so I might have to uh, stop halfway. Actually, before we do this, we'll remove all the um, unnecessary bits of metal like that. Remove all these these little things. As you can see, that saved a lot of um, acid, and the plastic can just come off. So you can get rid of that plastic. So we're left with the actual bit of the gold. Some won't have much of the gold piece in, you can see there. Not even half there, because a lot will have fallen out, but it doesn't matter. This means be, the yield will be slightly lower. Ones like these, you can just snap it off so I can see there's metal in there as well. Get rid of that. Unless I get rid of some waste plastic anyway. And then one from a ceramic CPU. Take the bit of metal out. The top piece of plastic. See, if you leave the top piece of plastic on it, it'll uh, trap the gold. So it struggles to leave. Even the plastic ones might side as remove. Because if they get out during the uh, the gold, it would just be annoying fishing them out. And the top piece of plastic we can remove.
These little ones have a little uh, metal screw in the top. Just bend it off. It also saves room in the acid and it's uh, it'll give a nicer yield by weight. Most of them won't have metal and won't have plastic in the way, so they're normally alright, but it's just a few. Be annoying. You make sure the uh, metal's gone. You can leave it, but it's only going to make a bit of a, me a mess in the acid, and it's also uh, going to use up more acid than necessary. These are the best ones. Nice ceramic one. As you can see, there's lots of gold plating in there. I can imagine the gold plating will be quite thick. Hoping my uh, copper chloride should be able to get under those bits of gold, but we'll see. Never know, it could be a failed recovery, but I doubt it. I'm not going to try to remove the uh, the pins, I'm just going to hope they fall out in acid because when they're just thin foils you should just be able to shake them about in the acid and the, uh, they should release.
I really want to be uploading every day soon, but obviously there not being that much to upload, it's not easy. If there's any ideas what to upload, feel free to put down in the description. I'll be doing casting videos soon, like casting metal, amount of metal. It'll be a cool video. more uh, thickly gold plated Foils once they're done, I'll uh, I'll mount the foils into a little bead, and it will be 18 carat between 12 and 18 carat. I might show a video of the refining, but I probably won't because at the moment I'm just trying to save up loads and loads and loads before doing a big refine. I'll probably show the big refine on a uh, video. Thanks to everyone who subscribed whilst I wasn't uh, uploading. So obviously I haven't uploaded for a while and my subscribers were still going up. So thanks to all the new people. Join. That looks like that's all of it done. There's not many which have the uh, fully gold plated area I was talking about. I think there's like two CPUs, maybe three CPU uh, slots. But We'll see. Anyway. We had over a kilo a minute ago, but after removing it, it looks like we barely can hit 500. There's 500 grams there, I might just leave these uh, processing another way and I'll just process this in the video. So 500 grams would do, then we double it and that'd be how much you need to So that's what we got for processing. What I'm going to do is pull it in copper chloride, which I'll show in part two. I won't do part two for a while because all my um, acid's in use at the moment. But a lot of the stuff's almost done, so I can sit this into the copper chloride for about a month and then hopefully by the end I'll be able to um, get the pieces like this and just move it side to side in the acid and all the gold plating 
uh, gold files will come off and then from there we filter it out and uh, mount it into a little bead and then we weigh the bead and that will be the yield. I'm hoping for maybe half a gram a kilo off these including the plastic because obviously the pins is barely anything. I have seen 999 Deuson's video he got over a gram which I think there must have been amazing slots or something because a lot of these are only slightly plated on the tips. Now they look good but once you remove them they're not too great plus there's a lot of plastic. But anyway we'll see. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. Don't forget to subscribe so I can hit my uh, 300 subscribers which I was looking forward to for a while. Um, I'll hopefully upload every day. I'll probably upload another video tomorrow showing another component I'll be sticking in acid and I'll have them lined up and then eventually I'll be doing the part twos of them all. Thanks for watching. Bye.